it come to this rap shit, why I'm G. Cotter, you really the truth. Yeah. If I up that glick, I'ma bust that bitch, and you mean the news. Yeah. Since about to get rude, cause on the real, I been keeping it cool. Yeah. And your bitch said she love when I get in this too, I been speaking the truth. No Since out the truth. All right, y'all. What's up? So we got the camera rolling. We got everything going. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Classic Coco. And we're here with another episode of Let's Be Real, the podcast. And you already know I'm excited. I always get excited for every new episode. But we're lit tonight. We got our new special guest, YMG Kata. How you doing tonight? What's up with you? I'm doing good. How you doing? Listen... Living, we cooling. You know, it's a good day. You feel good outside, but it's a little cold in here. We know, but we about to warm it up with this interview because we got, we got, we getting to know this very special artist. And you know, this is someone that I just met, and I felt like he is so dope. And I want y'all to get to know who he is. So let the, of course. So let the people know who you are and where you're from. I'm G. Cotton from Danville, VA. Like. I mean, I live up here in Charlotte, you feel me, you know. I'm nation from Virginia, though, know, you feel me. You can follow me at YMG underscore Kata, K-A-T-A. Hey, YMG Kata. So, what inspired you to do music? Because I know, okay, first of all, tell the people what you do. Actually, I'm like, I'm a real artist, you feel me. Like, I do this music shit for real. So, like, I mean, my grandfather, all his brothers was doing music. So, you know, that really inspired me. Like, but they was doing gospel music. You feel me? So, mm-hmm. like, I'm like, okay. So, I'm really the only, like, family member that really decided to do music for real. Like, and take it, a, you know, take it serious. So, I'm really enjoy, enjoying it. Like, I love this shit. It's, like, really my passion. Yes, yes. So, how did your childhood and who you listen to as a child kind of influence who you are as an artist? Honestly, it's like I didn't listen. I listened to a lot of different artists. So it's like some of the childhood artists I listened to, at, li, artists I listened to as a childhood. I mean, like they gave me, you know, a little mm, until you feel me, like go ahead and do it. But it's like it's I'm an all around artist. You feel me? So it's like when I just see other artists where they ca- where they come from, like seeing the emotion they put in, the work they done put in, that really give me the motivation for real. Mhm. Yeah. So, what 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 artists do you feel like have kind of like given you motivation? I mean, like me personally. Do you I have fuck, any in particular? Uh, I could say like I fuck with like some a lot of artists from my city. Like my niggas, Dirty Man Skeet. You feel me? My cousin G Mark Rambo. You feel me? Like a couple niggas. You feel me? That be giving that motivation for real. And they ain't, they out there out there. You feel me? They got a little buzz though. You feel me? But like. It'd it be some underground artists, you feel me? Like, but G Herbo, I definitely fuck with my boy, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. he, he didn't show me you can come from the mud and do what the fuck you gotta do. Period. Your shit, you gotta start somewhere. Facts. For real. Okay, so on that note, okay, so speaking from starting up, so, you know, you know, I'm doing my, you know, checking you out. <laughs> checking you out. So, uh, Apple Music, right? So, I see that you released Ready to Blow. Yeah. And I see that you've been, you know, releasing a little snippets of all of me, and yeah. then you have your snippets and your features with other artists. Right. So, how do you feel like your style and your energy has changed from when you first started to now? I learned now I'm different. <laughs> you feel me? Like that mm. boy is different. Like when I first started, it was like that more bring aggression, like all the time, like fast rapping beats. Like up tempo beats, but now I actually know how to make slow songs. You feel me? I can make love songs. I'm just an all around artist now. I learned how to be versatile, mm-hmm. so I had to learn myself as an artist. Also, you feel me? So once I did that, that really put me in emotion. Though I was really good. Like okay, I know the fuck. I, I know the fuck I got to do. But like far as like ready to blow part one, that was really like my main like like it, it really it really boosted my ego. Far as far as like nigga, you can do this. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, bro, you got this. Like, just just have faith. You feel me? Keep doing what you're doing. Cause I ain't expecting me to get all that feedback. Like, I mean, I feel like it should have been on the radio, going crazy. You feel me? But at mm-hmm. the end of the day, it did enough feedback to let me know, like, keep doing music. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, for real. You never stop. You never stop. Have you ever felt like okay? So, what has kind of been your biggest obstacle so far, um, with pursuing music? Mm, that's hard because like I ain't gonna lie, I didn't turn down three deals. I mean, you know, little bullshit ass deals like I co sign you for thirty, you feel me? Mm-hmm. 
20 piece, 15, all that shit. Like, that shit ain't shit. Like, it was just like, it was a waste of my time. I mean, I ain't do it, but it was just like, it made me learn, like, okay, I got eyes on, you feel me? Like, right. they watching me, like, but like, me personally, like, I'm really on a independent, like, motivation right now. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm really trying to go strong, like, as being an independent artist. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, you know, like, I, I wouldn't have had no mind with signing with South Coast Music Group, you feel yeah. me? I fuck with on the table. Yes, yeah, speaking of, listen, South Coast Music Group, listen, speaking to existence, because you got to. You that never know who's going to watch this, and you never know. Most definitely. Period. So it's like, I ain't, you know, I ain't tripping, though. I'm just continuing to apply that pressure. I mean, I feel a little off. I mean, I feel a little type of way this year, because, like, I came a little late of dropping shit, but shit. I mean, I, it ain't like I ain't got videos to drop, so now I'm just ready to go and turn this song up. You feel me? Right. Oh, listen. I like how we flowing into this because listen, we just flowing to the questions. Yeah, yeah. Next question. So I know you just drop. Well, you're about to drop a little video for all of me intro, right? Yeah. So how was the process and the development for that song? You know, it's crazy. I, I, I mean, I just dropped it like literally like two hours ago. Yeah. And it's like, I mean, it's going up for real. Like, everybody DM me and box me, you feel me? Like, what really got me, though, was like, I mean, I ain't got that many Instagram followers to be looking at, like, blue checks trying to look reach out to me. Five blue checks commenting on my shit, you feel me? They watching my story all the time, shit like that. Shit like that keep giving me motivation, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's like, all of me, the album, though, I got to drop that in May. It's yeah. Like, you feel me? I'm going to get that to him in May. I mean, I've been holding back, so I'm just going to give them the whole take. Oh, so what kind of can people expect from you, like, within the next year? This shit going up, you hear me? Like, I ain't even lying. Like, this shit is really going up. Like, I've really been playing games out here, but mm. the talent I got and the songs I got, like, I, I release them slowly one by one, but every time I drop this shit hit, you feel me? So, right. Like, now I just got to at least give them about 16 of them. Give them a little deluxe or something, you feel me? But I'm really a part of that pressure on them, though. Right. He said a little deluxe. You feel me? It's not no... It, it's some Big Mac shit. <laughs> no kidding. Like, we're not doing no little kitty mail. Nah. Like, we're really coming. Like, this with YMG Kata, for yeah, real. Shit. So what artists would you like to collab with in the, in the future? Like... I know you have you're about you're gonna release all of me. Do you have any artists in mind that you would like to have, you know, on a song or I mean, just because like I fuck with Charlotte, uh -huh. I gotta I gotta collab with the baby, you feel me? Oh, like, okay. Must, like, I like seven oh four chop. I, I can see me and cousin or some shit. Like I mean, I don't get me wrong, it's a couple people with Charlotte for real, like they going in like far as female wise and male wise, you feel me? But um yeah, that's I mean, that's really about it, you feel me? Like, I ain't really too much of a collabing person, you feel me? Because mm -hmm. motherfuckers going to be trying to play that ticket, and the price definitely done went up, so oh, um, there it go. Oh, listen, so if you want to get a feature, you got to hit a YMG Carter because, you know, deals all day. <laughs> For real, though. So what kind of can we expect from all of me? All of me is literally, like, all of me. You, you feel yeah. me? Like, I would give it to them all, like, from the pain to the drill to the love, all that shit, you feel me? So, like, I just read to let them know what the fuck going on. Like, nigga, this is all in me. Like, I'm too versatile, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And it's like, shit, I didn't really pay the weight out here. Like, motherfuckers really be riding my wave, you feel me? Like, they be like, how can I be doing this shit, you feel me? Like, you see me in my videos, dolo sometimes, you feel me? Like, I don't need a group of niggas, but shit, my gangsters moving with me, of course, you feel mm -hmm. me? But me personally, like, Niggas just know how I move. Like, if it ain't about a bag, don't call me. Like, people ain't really trying to play that ticket. But, I mean, me personally, I ain't even taxing. I mean, 500 a song, that's not bad. You feel mm -hmm. me? I mean, shit, nigga, niggas that's an upcoming artist with the amount of motherfucking followers I got, anything like that is not getting the attention. You feel me? I'm getting. So, that being said, I got to charge some. Right. You got to get your bread because I know that's one thing as being artists and creatives, that's one thing you can't undercharge yourself for your craft. Real shit. Like, I mean, you you know, it is good to accommodate people, but you you don't need to. Yeah. Nah. That's real shit, though. Uh oh. 
And it's like motherfuckers don't be like trying to pay. They they really be trying to collab. Like I mean, me personally, I, I get I get over all my videos got over one k. You mm-hmm. feel me? It's niggas that been in the industry and didn't get net. Like they just wasting their time. They old as hell, rap for nothing. You feel me? Right. So I ain't better play with them. You feel me? You right. gotta pay me for this. Right. You gotta pay him for this. For real though. Period. So y'all, we about to go on a quick break, and we'll be right back. All right, what's up, y'all? We are back from our break. And, of course, we are here with our special guest, YMG Kata, here Whoa. on Let's Be Real, the podcast. You know, so we haven't really got to know this artist, his music that he's about to drop with all of me intro, and just of your collaboration. So now we want to get to uh, what do you, like, what do you have planned for the future? Like, where do you see yourself from five to ten years from now? I mean, like, I already know off the muscle, like, five, ten years from now, you feel me? I definitely got to have me a platinum. Mm. <laughs> you feel me? That's definitely a must. Like, I, I'm just speaking of this because I know the gift God gave me, I could do it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But it's like, I definitely going to have them ill stacked up. You feel me? I mean, I'm going to still be in the industry, but by the time five, ten hit, I've been, been, you know, and had that pressure really put on them so everybody know. Like when you take YMG, Kata pop up automatically, you feel me? Right. Everybody announce my name, right? All that shit. But you know, I'm definitely gonna be in a good good situation, you feel mm. me? Good like where I'm gonna be at, I really wanna have them M's. Like I ain't really doing this media shit for no clout, none of that. Like I just want my family to see shit they ain't never seen before, you feel me? I right. know I can make that happen though, you feel me? Right. Peace. Like, hell yeah. Very, very, very. And so you, I know you were just talking about, you know, when you want to leave what you want to be remembered as. So what kind of legacy would you want to leave behind? Like when people hear YMG Kata, what is the number one thing that you would want them to say about you? Man, that boy was a gangster for real. Like he was a stepper. Like that boy put, he actually, he was a humble nigga. He did what he had to do. You feel me? Like, like that boy was a real, he was an OG. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm I'm really stamped, you feel me? So I don't really like the legacy gonna play out for itself, you feel me? Right. Period, you period. Say. So I know, okay, so going back on music, I know this is definitely this is going back on music but also moving forward. So I know do you want okay, what do you feel about being an independent artist versus being signed? How do you feel about that? I mean shit, when you sign it just get it to you. <laughs> you know, for real, you feel yeah. me? Videos paid for, motherfucking video bits is paid for, your wardrobe already paid for, you know, mm-hmm. everything. Everything they taking care of. I ain't, uh, I feel like, I feel like if it's free, it ain't, it's sour. You feel me? It's, mm-hmm. it's too good to be true. Like, why yeah. you just keep giving me free shit? Yeah, I'm putting the work for it, but at the end of the day, I'm putting the work for it for myself. So that's why I want to feel like at the end of the day, you feel me? What I look at, my my outcome of my earnest. I want to I want to look at I did it. I don't want to look at oh okay I had to sign it to a label for the motherfuckers to, to baby me. A la- a label ain't doing nothing but babysitting motherfuckers. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like just doing everything for them. Don't get me wrong. I need a manager. I didn't got this far without a manager. So for real, it's fucking one of them for real. You feel me? I mean sometimes it's stretching mine out. You know, but I mean I get a manager, but it gotta be somebody I I trust. You feel me? Right. But at the end of the day, though, yeah, that label shit is just like, nah, I don't want nobody babysitting me, you feel me, telling me when I can go to the studio, nah. YMG Kata, like, I really did put that name out there. Like, if somebody really hear YMG, they gonna really say, I made that shit, you feel me? Which, I mean, I probably didn't make it, <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> but that's what the fuck is gonna go for. Like, you know, YMG stands for Young Moving Gangster, you feel mm-hmm. me? So it's like, shit, like, motherfuckers gonna be knowing that ain't shit about young money, none of that shit. It's just a young moving gangster. Like, mm-hmm. somebody that asked me, you know, tied in too much with the, <laughs> you feel me? I'm just a young motivated gangster, you feel me? Yeah. But either way around it, you feel me? That's all to it. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Hey, this is a man from Danville, Virginia. Yeah. Hey, he don't listen. Shout out to VA, man. Y'all know what's coming, man. <laughs> hey, shout out to VA, period, period. Like, oh. You know, got to, got to. And just speaking real on like you as an artist, period. Like, you, mm-hmm. if you already gotten this far, I mean, there's nothing as good as a team. But especially when it comes to a team, it takes so much yeah. with people and just 
having people in a group with like minds. So it really takes a lot to build a team that you can really trust. Real shit, though. And definitely with music because, like, like you got to really have a circle where everybody motivated to get money. Right. You feel me? Because you can't have nobody broke in the circle because it ain't, no, I mean, legit. shit. Yeah, like, and it's just like with mu- music, period, for real, if you ain't got no motivational or either motherfuckers around you that don't do music, mm-hmm. you just going to be that motherfucker that's doing everything yourself. Right. So when you say you got a show or when you say you want to go to the studio, anything, they ain't really feeling that. They just looking at it like shit. And you say go to the store. <laughs> you feel right. me? So at the end of the day, I just I just really uh, like put that pressure on me. Like, nigga, yeah, I'm really going to handle this today. Studio today, video tomorrow, you feel me? Don't get me wrong, I invite people or I might ask the homie or anybody, you feel me? It's my homie, shout out T3, you feel me? Move, shout out T3. Every time I call cuz, he, he never, never miss a show. Mm-hmm. You feel me? My sick homie, he, he, be, he, he do business, you feel me? So, you know, mm-hmm. he be busy, you feel me? T3, though, because never miss a show, you feel me? It's a couple people, when I call them, they never miss a show, so I fuck with y'all for that, you feel mm-hmm. me? But, like, other than that, though, nah, it just be, like, on some real shit. Yeah. I'd rather motherfucker just do the shit on my own. Yeah. For real. Hey, Shay, when you do it on your own, you don't really have any mouths to feed. Definitely. But the ones who are there, they're worth the mouths to feed. Yeah. Because they're actually going to be the ones there. Yep. Period. So, if you could use three words to describe who you are as a person, what would you just dis- what would you use? <sighs> strong, smart man. <laughs> strong, <laughs> smart man. Damn, so it's something in that category. You feel me? So <laughs> like for real. Like I'm just so strong. Like man. Like I'm smart and I'm very humble. Like all that that shiesty shit. All that that weird vibes. I ain't with none of that. You feel me? So. If I feel like somebody on there, I just cut ties with them. Right. All, off the muscle. But me personally, though, I'm just, like, I'm just very chill. So, like, and I learned, like, damn, I had to be very smart to learn the industry on my own. Ain't nobody teach me this shit. You feel mm-hmm. me? I learned how to release music on all platforms myself. I learned how to reach out. I, I learned who who really crack and pop my eye with my phone. So, you feel me? With these videos, the photographers, you feel me? Which city I'm in, Charlotte, of course, you feel me? But, like. I had to learn, like, what's going on, the ins and outs, and I learned it myself. So I said, yeah, I got this. Right. Period. That's all you have to really tell yourself is you got this. Hell yeah. For real. So do you have any shout-outs that you want to give to the people? Anything you want to say to the people? Anything that we should look forward to? Okay, so, like, I do want to say shout-out my mother. You feel me? Of course. Shout out my twins, shout out my big bro Trey, you feel me? Shout out all my brothers, you feel me? Brandon, Trey, Russell, you feel me? Sick homie, you feel me? Snoop, Cheddar, Trey G, Menace, Free Sino, you feel me? Y'all know the vibes, you feel me? Like, shout out my G Shabri, you feel me? Shout out y'all, man. Like, y'all some real riders, T3, all y'all, y'all know the vibes, you feel me? Like, shout out you most definitely for giving me the opportunity. I really oh, appreciate that, you yes. feel me? Most for real. Like, I mean, YMG8, got to shot LeBro out, you feel me? You know the vibes, LeBro, you feel me? I mean, like, y'all know. And ain't too many more people, you feel me? But the people that's out there that I fuck with, you feel me? I didn't name y'all. Shout out to y'all, you feel me? Uncle Shayo, got to shout y'all. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to shout out to Unc. For got real, to. With some words, but, like, it's ready to go down, though. Very. Like, shit is ready to get real. I'm ready to drop Running Back Part 2. Mm-hmm. Ready to blow Part 2. And all of me, the whole album. Okay. But it's like... All of them, you know, I take my time with it. You feel exactly. Me? So I'm going to drop all of me first. Y'all be expecting all of me album on the way, you feel me? I'm going to drop that for y'all first. And then I'm going to drop ready, ready to Blow Part 2. And then Running Back Part 2 is just falling in the mix. Right. But, yeah, I know they were definitely, they, they've been waiting for Ready to Blow Part 2, you feel me? So mm-hmm. I just going to get to them. All of me album, I definitely got to do it, you feel me? So, you know, y'all just be expecting that, you feel me? Hey, so look out for that. Like, you you heard him. Look out for that. And where can they find your music on social media? Man, find me on YMG underscore K-A-T-A. You feel me? YMG underscore Kata, man. My music everywhere. TikTok, Apple, YouTube, everywhere. You feel me? Except for SoundCloud. I don't like that. You hear me? (laughs) (laughs) For real. My music everywhere, though. You feel me? Follow me, man. Fuck with me. Hey.
So y'all heard him. Make sure you tune in. Make sure you follow him on all social media. And make sure you watch out for this dope artist, YMG Kata. I so appreciate you for coming on Let's Be Real, the podcast. So in five to ten years, we're going to be <laughs> elevated. We're going to have have our mansions. Most definitely. So when one of us have a cookout, we're going to be like, oh, come over to my mansion. You know, you got to. Okay, but it? period. It's going up. And that's, it is, <laughs> there's no way but up. Okay. Real shit, though. Period. So thank y'all so much for viewing Let's Be Real the podcast. That's our interview with YMG Kata, and we appreciate you so much for tuning in. Oh. Make sure you follow him on social media, and we'll see you next time. Patching you in. Hey, peace out.